Some hospitals in New York City are rolling out emergency plans tonight as 10,000 nurses move days closer to going on strike. At least one hospital system is moving some newborn babies to other hospitals. CBS 2's Dave Carlin is live on the Upper East Side with details here. Dave? Dana, moving those babies, rerouting ambulances, and postponing elective surgeries at this Mount Sinai location right now, all signs point to this strike happening, but there's time to avert it. The unprecedented move is underway, transferring Mount Sinai NICU babies from its Upper East Side Hospital to other locations. This after hospital leaders left the bargaining table at 12.30 Friday morning, with more bargaining sessions expected but not yet lined up. Mount Sinai's chief nursing officer, Francis Cartwright, calls the contract offers generous, especially the pay raises. With the compounded interest, that's 19% over time, uh, putting a, a extra uh, contributions into the pension, uh, into the health benefits. But for members of the New York State Nurses Association, the biggest sticking point appears to be increased staffing, which nurses say is crucial to patient care. At first, eight hospitals were in this, then tentative deals were struck with three. So the gathering strike cloud remains over 10,000 nurses at these five hospitals. Montefiore, the Bronx, Mount Sinai Hospital, Mount Sinai Morningside and West, Bronx Care, and Flushing Hospital Medical Center. Nancy Hagens is a nurse and the union president. New York City hospitals have violated our trust to years of understaffing. And that understaffing has only gotten worse. We talked to some patients on the Upper East Side about the strike concerns going into Monday. They're getting their appointments taken care of now. I'm glad that we came before, you know, everything goes with the strike. I still have uh, confidence and hope that our clinical nurses, if they look at this package and really look at it thoughtfully, I can't imagine that they wouldn't say, I'm going to go, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to take care of my patients. Along with transferring babies, the Mount Sinai Health System is rearranging ambulance schedules and some elective surgeries are being postponed. Hospitals are also hiring traveling temporary nurses. Hagen said holding the line right now is about nurses, but more importantly, it's about about the patients. Our main goal in these negotiations is to improve patient patient care, to save staffing and fair wages, to recruit and retain nurses. Still no word when the Mount Sinai leaders and the union leaders get back to the bargaining table. Live on the Upper East Side, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. All right, Dave, thank you.